Hey guys, what's good? It's me, Jay Lee. You're watching Jay Lee Sees, and today, Jay Lee Sees The Walking Dead, Season 8, Episode 12. I was about to say, Dwight's home. Welcome back, babes. Uh. Had yourself a close call out here. But got ambushed. I guess the best way to betray someone is to kill the witnesses of the betrayal. Why don't you just slug a beer, put on your best vest, and get your ass downstairs? Because, like I said, we got work. <laughs> Oh, they're going to be catapulting my little dead bitches to try to kill my living bitches. Guts is guts. Push it in nice. Oh, all right. I feel like this episode has just been made to make me be sick. Damn, this is going to be all kinds of awesome. Once the hilltop just feels the tip of what we are packing, <laughs> uh, they are going to drop to their knees. Lickety split. Oh my god, why is Simon not happy with him either? Negan, your peeps, they're turning on you. Well, even more so than they already were. Today is about scaring these people. We're not going for headshots. Just flesh wounds. Hit a few. Leave them living. Let them turn. Don't kill them. Okay. Well, hopefully if we are able to stay alive because they're sparing our lives then hopefully we can manage to avoid it raining down walkers i bet this situation in my mind seems a lot more comedic than how it's actually going to play out because the thought of them raining down walker parts from the sky is hilarious but the ramifications from doing so, not so hilarious. Oh, it would take everything in my power not to go kamikaze on that cage. Not kamikaze, that means kill yourself too, don't it? Not kamikaze on that cage. Look, about what I did at Sanctuary, trying to end it real quick. I just wanted it done. I hear you, babe. I didn't want to give him another chance. Not again. And I feel like soon you're going to wish you did do it. I'm okay. Oh, I'm not. Okay. I'm gonna be okay. It'll be harder after we finish this. When it's quiet. Not if Negan's dead. Not for me, at least. Mm-hmm. Not for me, either. Revenge, honeys. What is that? If you're not expected to see that dad, do not go investigate it. What do you make of this, D? This? This? A little road trip. Let's rap here. Let's get candid. Let's get weird. <laughs> There's nobody here but us chickens. Let's talk hypothetically. Don't get paid to think. Not true. Not true. I value your perspective. Dwight, you've been on both sides of the iron. Dwight, don't talk too much. It could be a trap. He's thrown a lot. Rick, the widow, the king. And they just keep coming. I know, I love it. Keep fighting. You've seen it. I've seen it. We are resilient. They don't scare. 
If you fill the crates with food or phonograph records, I will gladly exchange them for a key to your future. No, those coordinates for our meeting spot. Pardon? This isn't the Savers. They blow through the gates, make a big show. This isn't that. So what is it? Who's it from? I'll go. I'll see what's up. You go, I go. Rick wants us here. I know. But the last time we took a chance like this, it changed everything. So Rick and Michonne have literally just arrived at Hilltop and they're both disappearing again? They are always on the move. Maybe they're just trying to stay busy. Because if they're not busy, then they think. And when they think, they grieve. Was he meant to do something and decided, fuck that shit, I'm going to do my own thing. Oh, You actually hit Negan's car. Okay, this shit's happening right here, right now. Oh my days, we got a high-speed car chase. I was not expecting this turn of events. How cool. Anyone see which way he went? Tell him to pipe down. Stay icy. Maybe more of them out there. Guards up. Scan your lane. We could have company. That was a little smile, sir. Then what are we waiting for? It was just one driver. It's nothing Negan can't handle on his own. But just in case, Dwight and I'll go check it out. Shall we locate our benefactor? So he doesn't want everyone else following him and Dwight. Is there ulterior motives going on in Simon's head? I mean, we know there is with Dwight, but his dad's kind of tired at the moment. Simon kind of holds all the power. Oh, look, he looks hurt. <laughs> I'm telling you now, if Negan survives this whole predicament right here, then his plot armor is thick. We are getting into this. Hopefully Negan, during all of this kerfuffle, is like, why are my bitches not coming to save me? That is literally what our name means. You are out of bullets. Come on up. Oh god, it's gonna be some close combat shit going on. Oh! <laughs> Lucille. Hey, scream Lucille! She ain't real, babes. She ain't gonna get hurt. <gasps> yes! Let's get weird about this shit. Let's chop his phalanges off one by one. <gasps> oh, fucking hell. You nearly did as well. My name is Georgie. Hello. And these are my friends, Hilda and Midge. Hi. And you are... Suspicious. Yeah. But, curious enough to see what I have to offer for food and music. I do hope the records are music. I don't accept spoken word. The fact that these randoms seem so casual means they must have been expecting Nonsense. this. Oh. I come bearing knowledge to trade. Okay. Essential knowledge for the future, primarily in my head, and uh, I prefer to keep that where it is. It's not a trick, just a fair trade. I promise you. It's an act of I need knowledge. I need information. Who are these people? Where they come from? What is their motives? If perhaps people can believe in people again, four crates of goods is worth far less than a sustainable future and perhaps an exercise in trust. 
This is so random. Whilst we trust you. Give me the deal. No. These people on the rain are coming with us back to Hilltop. Oh, we kidnapped you. We love ourselves a good hostage, but bear in mind, newbies, the conditions that you got to live in, they ain't that great. You still alive? Yeah, barely. So where's your people? You should be here by now. You'll get that far. Oh, they're coming. This is where you die. Oh, hopefully not in this dark scene because I want to see it with my own eyes in its full glory. Peacock. Where the fuck are we? Not only failed your boy, you failed your people, Rick. Kind of makes me sick just thinking about it. Do you know what? He do have some nerve, don't he? you got to give him credit for that. That wasted potential. But see, there is still hope for you that I will make in the memory of your badass son someone that I actually respected. I mean, You get Hilltop? Kingdom Alexandria to fall in line and our arrangement is back in No, place. we are not going to be your slaves. Get that out of your head. Now, why would I trust any deal offered to me after what you did to Jadis's people? Yeah, that's true. Oh, my God, I don't think he knows. Oh! The hell are you talking about? Scavenger. You killed They're all dead. The drama, Simon. Oh, nigga, I'm gonna fuck you up. Even though plenty of your people must have seen you gone, see. See, it's times like this you realize who your true friends are. No one's coming for Oh. Let's talk him more murdering, because Simon and Dwight are coming. And they gotta show and save face in front of Negan, don't they? So they're gonna have to come try to kill you, Rick. But if you kill Negan before they arrive. All is good in the world. <gasps> oh my days, Rick has Lucille. You did what you had to, to live. And yet our leader is not doing the same. If it was my call, we'd say enough. We'd branch out, we'd find new places, we'd make new relationships. What do you say? Just move on? Just move on. I feel like they're both kind of on the same page, but don't trust each other's lines that they are reading to each other. <laughs> Could be his. You know the bucket he brought with him? It could be anywhere. Alive or dead. Oh, he's alive. Somewhere in between. Just because he walked away doesn't mean he's breathing. He's breathing. We can keep looking. Maybe find him more alive than dead, but then what? Yeah, just give up the search. Is he worth it? No. This is a critical point in our history, Dwight. I agree with that. This is something we could tell our grandkids about. Don't know if I want you to live that long. So is that representing Dwight going, all right, Simon, I hear what you're saying. I'll listen to you. Fuck that bitch, Negan. We is not Negan anymore. We gotta come up with a new name. I can't let her go. Not with what they have. I got too many mouths to feed. They have crates of food in that van. People here could be starving soon. Someone else will kill them. It's a miracle they're still alive anyways. Is it though? Because we don't know their knowledge that they have. Carl rescued Sadiq, and now we have a doctor. And we have a friend.
That... Carl was brave. Oh, yeah, that's true. And now he's dead. Oh, that's true too. But I do get what Michonne's saying. Not everyone is the instant enemy. You can't save me. Or my people. Or even yours. You can't save anyone because you don't care about anyone. The only thing you care about is this bat. Oh! You can't even say that. I'll make you a deal. I'll let you kiss her goodbye. Don't you touch her! Yeah, do touch her. Burn that bitch to the ground. <gasps> Come and get her. Oh! Do not fuck with a grieving father. Oh, 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 oh! They can fuck with a grieving father. Killing less talking. <laughs> I feel like Negan just jumped out of a window, no? Where'd he go? My grand dear deal. We'll fill your four crates, then you can go. They're gonna want that to be sooner than later. I accept, but I'm changing the term. Uh, excuse you? This one, no more. In addition, you can have a sizable portion of my food stores. Ooh, okay. In exchange for what? Records and good faith. Ah, uh, but I still want my to knowledge. Clear, this isn't a gift, it's barter. I'll be back. Maybe not for a while, but I will. And by then, I expect great things. Uh, Here okay. is the aforementioned key to a future. This woman, she's like the love child of Eugene and Gregory. Let's see what we can do. You will. I don't know if she's friend or foe just yet. This show gives me anxiety when it comes to new characters. Is she like, build up your community so it flourishes? So that my community can overthrow you. The saviors are coming right now. And we're gonna fight them. But there's gotta be something after. I know. What about after? So I'm just gonna be like, Negan's dead, and then Negan's gonna pop up and go, no, I ain't. What are we supposed to do now? Who are you? Negan. Who? Not Negan. Negan. I am Negan. Damn right you are. Oh, are we still Negan? We all are. We're still Negan. Oh. What they did to Negan? That tells me that what we need from them is beyond them. Expunge them. We must redact them. They are a mistake that we shall now erase. Oh, wait there. So the only part of Simon's plan, no, the only part of Negan's plan that Simon didn't agree with was the fact that we're not killing him. Who's driving this car, sir? Ooh! Check! Ooh! I don't know why I'm clapping. Negan's gonna survive. If he survives this episode with about a thousand bullets shooting his way, then he's gonna survive. He's gonna survive this one, too. Alright, guys, that episode is done and dusted. Let's talk about it. And it seems like the saviors were on their way to the hilltop to enact Negan's plan of catapulting the dead 
over the walls in hopes to infect the living. However, on transit, Rick spots Negan's car, so he's like, you know what, I'm going to deal with him myself. So Nick and... Nick? Who the fuck is Nick? Rick and Negan decide, this is it, let's go head to head. Well, Negan doesn't really. Rick kind of forces his hand. Bullets are flying, flame is flaming, Lucille is swinging, and yet, none of them die. I mean, I'm glad Rick doesn't, but like, none of them die. In fact, right at the very end, we find out that Negan managed to escape, but then got kidnapped by Jadis. And you gotta remember, she is fuming. She thinks Simon killed all her people under the orders of Negan, when actually, Simon just went a bit lone wolf on that situation. And Negan is actually pretty innocent in that, but we do not care about his innocence because we know he's not innocent on everything, is he? He's a bastard, so let's kill him. I thought this episode, Simon and Dwight were actually on the same page with what they wanted, which was to overthrow Negan. And although I feel like that is kind of what they both want in the end, the after is very different. Dwight wants to dismantle the saviors, I think Simon wants to take over the saviors. He's like, I don't want to scare no bitches, I want to kill these bitches. So with Simon heading the saviors and Jadis kidnapping Negan, I have no idea where I'm about to go with this. And we're getting to the pointy end of the season and we all know that the pointy end of the season is usually dramatic. And I am here for it. So if you want to be with me for all the drama and you haven't done so already, feel free to hit the subscribe button. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Down in the comment section, I want to know. From first impressions alone, keeping it spoiler free, what do we think about these new people that popped up this episode? They're like, give us some music and I will give you the keys to your future. Sounds kind of suspicious, but we are running out of options. So I want to know your opinions on your first impression of them. And until next time, guys, stay safe out there.